Welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I preach at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, and I encourage that you open up your Bibles and follow along as we uh, look at the verse for today and putting God first. So today I'm looking at verse 39 as we look at 1 Corinthians 7, verse 39. It says, A wife is bound as long as her husband lives, but if her husband is dead, she is free to be married to whom she wishes only in the Lord. And so as we search the scriptures here, um, just choosing one verse out of the, the entire chapter here today, and again, there's a lot of other verses that kind of go along with this. Um, as it speaks about marriage uh, throughout the chapter and some other stuff also. But the uh, point that make here is, you know, again, today's worldly thought is, you know, you can get married and stay married as long as you want, but if things don't work out, then you divorce and you, you move on to your, your next spouse. You remarry, um, and, and people do this a few times, a couple times, a few times throughout their life, and um, they really don't blink an eye about it. Don't, don't think twice, don't think much about it. But the Word of God, here and in other parts throughout the Scriptures, bring out the point that, that life is meant to be, or marriage is meant to be, for life. That it brings out, uh, as long as the husband and wife are alive, that they are bound to each other. A wife is bound as long as her husband is married. And so it goes the same way. A husband is bound as long as the wife is alive. And so you're bound together. You're supposed to stick together for life. Until, you know, as we often say in almost every wedding scenario, to of death do us part. And so... It brings that point out. A wife is bound as long as her husband lives. Now it says, but if her husband dies, she is free to be married to whom she wishes only in the Lord. And so you have the opportunity to remarry if your spouse dies. And again, it's not permission to try and go and do something to your spouse. But it's the point that you've made this commitment, this covenant with each other for life. And as long as both of you are alive, you don't have the right to go and remarry someone else. Um, to just give up on that marriage, to just turn the other direction and go your own, own way. So we must continue to put God first in our lives. And in doing so, we put our spouse there in our lives for the rest of our life until one passes. And we hope that we're able to live that long life together and um, and faithfully in the Lord. So anyways, that's uh, what I got for you today. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope that everybody has a blessed day today and that the Lord is willing. I'll talk to you later.